Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to find the sum of this infinite sequence. And this is in sigma notation, or sum notation. And so when we're looking at that, I provide an example of sum notation so we can get an identify of how to figure out the sum of the infinite sequence, geometric sequence, which is right here. So to do that, we need to know what a sub 1 and what r is. And here's kind of the general summation notation where we have r, our ratio, um, is being raised to i, which is our first term. Um, which starts with 0 in this case, and then a sub 1 is multiplied in front of that. So therefore, in the kind of red, I can say, well, here's my a sub 1, and there's my r, because it's raised to that first term. So to find a sub 1, again, what we can do is plug 0 in for that. Well, anything not raised to the 0 power is just going to be 1. So therefore, a sub 1 equals 34, because it's in that same formation. So now, I'll plug in 34 divided by 1 minus r, which is 0 0.01. Well, therefore, I take 34 divided by 0 0.01 is going to be 0.99. Sorry. Um, and then I'm actually kind of curious. I didn't look this one up. Divided by 0.99. So OK, so then um, what I would do to convert this into a fraction, I would not use this as a decimal. Um, what I would do is multiply by 10 on the top and the bottom. And therefore, I get 3,400 divided by 99. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence. Thanks.